Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel and to your August 2016 reading. I do want to mention that I did post um, in astrology for the month of August, so check that out too. Um, and I will be posting my weeklies tomorrow. So on to the Taurus for August 2016. So, oops. Okay, Taurus. Wow, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> You look like you're going to have a fabulous month. What I'm picking up here is our blessings. Love. Love is really in the focus. This could be also home. Love definitely. Some great ideas coming in. Confidence building. Looks like you're going to have an awesome month, Taurus. Anyway, your overall energy coming into the month and coming up is the king of hearts i don't know if you can see it gee i'm not good with this camera anyway the king of hearts this is telling me this is a man or it's it's a masculine energy but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a man because this is a general reading for all tauruses out there female and male but there is a king of hearts he is a serious type he is a person who is very caring and i would also look at yourself and take your own advice and go with your own gut feeling this month anyway walking into the month we have the jack of hearts well taurus this is like someone coming in this is someone new coming in from the get-go from the beginning of the month here new love coming in these are also some blessings blessings coming in um if you this could be you know man woman here we go with the seven of hearts seven of hearts here we go again some of you may have been hoping or been wishing for love to come into your life and here it's coming in or blessings the six of clubs this is it this is the person you've been always waiting for that's what it looks like here or this is something that you've been hoping and wishing for a long time Two of hearts. This person that could be coming into your life is, it's fresh, it's new, but there is an instant kind of connection. At least you're going to feel this instant connection to this person. Mid-month, we have the Ace of Clubs. This is great. These are new ideas coming in. Epiphanies, creative bursts of epiphanies um ideas it's fun <laughs> nine of clubs here we go with these great ideas again you're going to be playing with some great ideas and forming bursts of ideas you it's like an epiphany coming in and this creative energy coming in and and saying oh what I can do this, 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 or you will be able to formulate this whole picture and idea of something that just sparks within you. Six of diamonds. This is also telling me here that some of you have been, have been feeling unbalanced for a while either financially um, or you felt that you've been giving out too much 
but there is a sense of balance coming in here. I think this person coming in in the beginning of the month is a win-win here, meaning it's give and take. You're going to be receiving some blessing, some love. I mean, your whole cards here are just full of love. Three of hearts. Three of hearts is feeling that you have lost faith in love. Feeling you have um, longed for someone in the past or someone has broken your heart in the past, but that is leaving. It's leaving. This also could be resurfacing, resurfacing because Mercury is going a retrograde at the end of the month. And this is a shadow period here in mid-month. So these thoughts and feelings could be coming in. The end of the month, we have the five of diamonds. These are insecurities. I'm feeling these are insecurities that you had or that could be resurfacing because here we are at the end of the month again. Mark reason retrograde. This is very possible. Um, here we go. Eight of hearts. This is telling me you are, you've had a pretty good month and you are letting go of some of the old emotional baggage that you were carrying around some insecurities you had you're feeling more confident you're moving on you're feeling more emotionally fulfilled five of hearts five of hearts <laughs> here you are leaving some emotional baggage here you are embracing and working on this new love that's coming into your life this is um also these can be blessings with the home there's a sense of home here too you may be you may be moving into a new home or in the process of building this dream home or finding this dream home and it's all starting to work out for you six of hearts here we are reminiscing of the past but it's also telling you past You've got to let go of because it's no longer in focus, meaning learn the lessons from the past. If it was love, home, whatever it was that was dear to you, because there is a new, there's a sense of renewal and a new sense of passion. Now, let me pull a tarot card. I need this reading. Again, this is a general reading for all Tauruses. There's millions of you all over the world, so this can apply to some, to all, to none, to one. To know better, you would need a private personal reading. Okay. So we're walking out of the month with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords with all that I'm seeing here is telling me you're finding a peaceful, fulfilling resolution to some of the worries that you had, some of the, the heartaches, the conflicts, peaceful resolution within yourself. With the King of Hearts, what I feel, this new love that you be coming in or this these blessings that are coming into your life, the beginning of the month they're just going to be more fulfilling towards the end of the month with the king of hearts too peaceful resolutions to all the heartaches the pains the past all coming to a more sane serene type of energy you do have a lot of hearts which is telling me also you could be very emotional over the month. I would kind of watch my emotions. You also have a lot of um, clubs here, a lot of creative thoughts, blessings coming in, insecurities being, you know, just a new Taurus. Like, hey, you know, this is me. This is, and I feel good. So there's, they're beautiful cards, beautiful cards. I hope you have a wonderful August. 
Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will be posting the weeklies tomorrow. Thanks, and have a good evening. Bye.